Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and this morning I'm here at George's Estate Sale, George the Antique Nomad in uh, Kentucky. So we are here bright and early at 7.30 a.m. I'm pretty much the first one out here, and already we have some other vendors that are setting up right outside of his uh, little, I want to call it a hut, but I think it's a historical house. <laughs> it's a historical house, so it's uh, pretty old, but um, we have couple different vendors out here selling alongside George and I'm gonna go ahead and look at their stuff and maybe buy some of the stuff um nobody else is here and it starts in like 30 minutes but we've got uh, this vendor here from I believe Tennessee we have another vendor over here who is actually not here yet but their stuff is here they're local and then I think tomorrow he said there's gonna be a third vendor um, over in that area so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look around they are setting up this stuff over here, and I actually already saw a vase that I think I want to get. I mean, I would have, I mean, I need to look at it first. But yeah, the estate sales today, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little look around. But he has all these hubcaps out here. I remember seeing these in his preview video if you want to go watch that. If you couldn't make it, I know a lot of people can't because of various reasons, but um, I'm not in the market for hubcaps, but they're cool oh yeah that's pretty for four dollars pretty sure it will glow i might have to get that i like that one all right more people are starting to show up but i found this metal leaf this brass leaf and that's just a dollar you know i think it's pretty cool so uh i'm already racking it up here and there's a few people that decided to come on out of their cars and uh look around here but yeah they're still put, pulling all their stuff out there's this cookie jar over here and I don't know if it's McCoy or not I didn't even look at it it's 35 which makes me think it's probably is McCoy and I don't have a hand but uh that's really cool it's a really cool one <laughs> all right so it is now eight o'clock and he has all this wonderful stuff set up on the porch I could have looked at it before we uh, started but it is eight o'clock and he is Racing to the last minute. Yes, hello. <laughs> it's a similar sight. Oh, it's much different though in here than it was before. And the stuff's different too. It better be. Yeah, I bet. There's a lot of different stuff. Um, it was a couple years ago that we uh, we were here. I like these grapes. Those are fun. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting this. Eight dollars for the carnival glass. I assume that there's no chips or cracks. Uh, no, nope, there's a little one. Because eight dollars is really cheap for the good luck one, and there's a that's beautiful in the blue. There was so much that I saw in the preview. Well, I saw only as much as I could, but oh, these hummingbirds are cute. I like those bird collections. Eight dollars, I might get that one. Look at this beautiful clover. That is so is that supposed to be like Plymouth Rock or something? No, that doesn't make sense, but that is beautiful. Oh, yes, these heads are still here. Well, of course they are, I just walked in. But these were in his video too. Oh, I knocked him in the head. Oh, that's so cool. It's a pair of these boy and girl heads. I don't see prices on them, ow. Really cool. I need to make a pile or something. I'm gonna get this little guy though. $2 for that planter, that's really good. There's just so much. And these, we have these Home Co foam. Those are really pretty. Oh yes, I wanted to get this too, this $8 paperweight. That was in his preview video. Definitely wanted to get that as well. Oh, that's a pretty seal for $4. I gotta get that too. Oh, and this. I think that's Sasha Braskoff. Pretty certain this this little egg here for five. Oh, I like that milk glass dish back there too. It has little eagles on it. Black amethyst. Hmm. All right, let's look more over at this stuff. So yeah, that that's so pretty. I love stained glass and stuff like this. Sixty five is really good for this. It's just there's so much intricate detail on it. Every single one of these has to be cut and soldered in with the lead. I mean, that is just so good. Look at this little snail trinket box. It's adorable. 
These are not terribly old, these like little trinket boxes, but they have so much fun detail in the enameling. There's the snail and there's also the lion. And this little leak, um, I was looking at it, there's a little chip on the back wing, so I'm not gonna do that one. There's lots of little perfumes here. I do like this candlestick back here with this Art Nouveau. I remember that from when I was here a while back. It's so pretty. Um, is there a place to put my pile so far? Yes, let me get you a box. Okay, because I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, combobulated. Or discombobulated? My bob has been collated. There's, like, nobody here. It is, I, I mean, it, no competition, estate sale? Really? That's what it feels like. That just means I can look everything over very, very carefully. There's just so much to see. Let's, let's look over here now. We've got this nice uh, lamp. It's a little bit, I mean, it's newer, it's not old, but it, it looks like the older Nouveau style with the way that it has these flower type shades. We've got some Homeco type figurines back there. Some carnival glass marigold. Just can't get over how empty it is. Like, look. It is so, so good for picking. Look at these beautiful art pieces. 25, it's signed, watercolor. And then we've got this one down here for 15. Look at that. How much he has on his, um, should be Robert Atkinson. Whoops. I don't see a price. Bad backing, yeah. These old art prints oftentimes are kind of worn. And you gotta watch that. They come in varying degrees of condition based on the frame and the print itself, but they're old, so that will happen. It's a shame about this. I really like that. $8 is such a good price. This has a crack, and that's a really pretty opalescent bowl as well. So pretty. Got lots of big glass over here. There's a marigold bowl over in there, too. I like that one. I haven't even went over there yet. This is a pretty print. I like this one. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty. I like that vase up there, too. The custard vase. I'll see the back just kind of fell off on that. It's so old. Phoenix glass. That's good. Oh, look at this jester. I've never seen that. It's this convex frame, reverse, reverse uh, painted silhouette. That's so cool. Starting to get a little busier in here now. Ooh, that is pretty. With all of the Millie Fiori on it. Yeah, I'll have to get that one. That is really good. Really pretty. Oh, this is a nice cloisonne little tray here. Hey, George, just let me know there's a little damage here, and it's down in here by this entry point, or entry point, um, by the bottom of the handle. But I think I'm going to still get it. It's so small and insignificant down there. And you know what I'm thinking about doing? Just get a little glob of hot glue and dab it in there. If not, just to like uh, dull the sharpness if you were to get your finger in there. Plus it'll hide it completely. And I'll disclose that, but otherwise it's a really pretty piece. So I'm still gonna get it. Over here, we've got some lighters and some guy items. There's a shell. Well, it's a planter, it's a ceramic shell. That's a pretty clock. Yeah, there's a bird on it. Camera items, some games. I haven't even been to the kitchen yet. I found this little pixie shaker here. It's just a single, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. Um, you can't even tell that it's a sh just a single shaker if you just set it like that. So I am going to still get it. I think it's really adorable. You could put that like in a little flower pot or something. But also I wanted to show you over here this paint by number, which is really neat actually. It's of this little desert scene and that's not typical for these paint by numbers normally they're lakes or flowers or birds or Bombs. wildlife yeah 
so this kind of uh, errors, this uh, Me New Mexico type landscape is just really interesting for this one. So I'll probably pick that up. We'll see if Barb maybe wants to buy it from me. <laughs> oh, does she like, uh, I know she likes paint by numbers. She, uh, yeah. That is different. I thought the same I'd, thing. I don't know if she would like this type because it is so different, but it's, it's very specific. Right. It's actually cool. And I, yeah, I've never, I've never really run into the Western scenes either. We've got a whole pile for you if you want to set that with us. Yeah, this is like a whole whole vibe over whole, here with all this. Oh, that's a nice, see that? That's a nice one down there. That's another paint by number. Little country scene. Baskets. Well, I just spotted this little milk glass dish here and it is a covered Victorian milk glass little box for $3. And I love picking these up when I can. Um, sometimes they're priced right, sometimes they're priced right for me. Three dollars is really good and I'm gonna pick that one up. I love these late 1800s, 1895, 1905, somewhere in there in age range. And this is the older milk glass, of course. So it has the ring of fire. Whenever you hold that up to the light, uh, you'll see that. Um, I saw something else in the corner of my eye and I forgot what it was and where it was. It was somewhere over, somewhere. Oh, it's another piece of milk glass, here it is. Oh, this is, okay, satin glass. That's pretty, with the roses on it. Maybe a magic eraser would get that silvering out of there on the flowers. That's pretty. Oh, this elephant is cool too, back here. That's really cool. It's a pink elephant planter. I don't know if it's Morton or $8. That's not bad for that. I think I'll get that actually. It's been a minute since I bought a planter and I like that one. Oh, look at the smoke set with the Scotty dog on it. A little ashtray, cigarette box. That's cool. I need to look at all the art again because there's so much good stuff here. Like this one is really pretty. It's just a vase, but I like it for $5. That's pretty. It's a print, of course. It's old. It has some words on there. Radio Picture Frame Co. Oh, actually, that's out of Brooklyn, New York. It's pretty. I think I might get that one. And this elephant. This piece of Wedgwood caught my eye because I like the pink on there for $10. That's really pretty. I usually don't pick up Wedgwood but I like the color on here more than what you can find a lot of, which is the blue with the white. And this is white with pink. And I just think it's pretty, actually. So $10, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. These I'm gonna have to ask George about, these little Buddha people, what they're made out of. I don't know if it's like a tusk or, I don't, I don't know. But these little Buddha people are kind of fun. So they are $6 each. So we'll see. Oh wow, see that's a really good put. $24 for that whole set. Problem is, they're, it's hard to sell. You're looking for the right person on something like that and it's a, it's a whole thing. So it's not just like a little, and then, you know, how many people are having tea parties, you know? Ooh, there's another Quasine little tray over here I noticed. It's pretty. Well, it's not really Quasine on this, in this case. It's just painted enamel. It's a newer piece, maybe the uh, 80s or 90s. George, do you know what these are made out of? I think they're vegetable nut, which is a, um, I think they're taqua nut. nut, yeah, which is because uh, they hold cold, but they're not really, they're not ivory. Okay, yeah. yeah I, they're, they're legal to sell everywhere, which is helpful, because um, they don't have that. If you look up close, elephant ivory has a herringbone pattern in it. Ah, and yeah. <laughs> that's that's the easiest way to tell. Go get them; they're really different. Put them on my little tray over here. There's three of them. Look at those. And the wedgewood, which is pretty. I like that. This is a pretty picture too. Ten dollars. I think it's a watercolor. 
I still haven't made it to the kitchen. I think I'm gonna head over there now. There's this print over here, that's pretty too. This green 1970s phone, push button style. The 1960s carnival glass butter dish. That's a pretty Majolica type pottery mug. Yeah, let's head over to the kitchen. Let's see what we can find. Oh yes, I remember the kitchen. So we've got all this nice 1950s, 60s, 70s. I've sold this before. It's, I think it might be missing its little handle. Not a big deal really. But uh, those are, you know what? I was gonna say, I think I have this set right now I need to sell for the salt and the pepper. We got a little fish, we've got some vegetables. This wiener dog <laughs> might be for hors d'oeuvres. Franciscan apple. Very fun. Ooh, that's pretty. Little ducks. Ducks in a row. <laughs> Gotta get your ducks in a row. Let's see what we have over here. Oh yes, the candlesticks. The piece of Fostoria vase. The uh, Syracuse china. Pepsi, Coke. I don't really do a lot with the uh, drinkware collectibles. Oh yes, the old refrigerator dishes, Westinghouse. I love this, it's so fun. It's the uh, general, so it was made, uh, it's made by Hall and it's for general electric refrigerators. I thought it was Westinghouse, so I might be in conjunction with Westinghouse. We've got this one here and then you have this little ice pitcher or ice lip pitcher that is adorable six dollars that's a good price hmm it's very tempting i like the the, the two-tone the yellow and the gray on there i have to think about that it's just a little heavy that's all oh look at this the dish holder that's fun we've got a little restaurant wear creamer down here that's a pretty color on there where it fades out. Mayor China. You have a Francoma planter back there. You have this little piece here. That's neat with the crawdad or I'm not sure what, maybe a lobster? I just noticed this really cool piece of Czechoslovakia art glass and I love the confetti colors in it. I just think it's a really fun piece. It's satin glass also. It's marked right on the bottom. It is marked Czecho Slovakia. So it's just it's just really fun. Probably 1920s, 30s era. And I'm still looking. And it's still empty in here. It's just remarkable because I know how much George advertised this. So we could it could just be that we're early and everyone's yard sailing right now. That is a really pretty painting. And it is a painting. You could see the, the the paint strokes there, the texture. Very nice. That's uh, dated 1962. I like that actually. Really, really nice and serene. Oh, you got the television lamp of the ship in this chartreuse. So retro. So 1950s. There's a pretty green vase. Got the shell art. There's a piece of Wedgwood actually in black. I don't see that one as much either. Hmm. Black. With some babies on there. I might get that. He, see here, this is the traditional Wedgwood that we see so much with the blue. But um, and because I see it so much, I don't don't really get excited about it as much as I guess I could. I found this really cool crystal piece here for $10, and that's really nice. It has a giant pris um, uh, tower hanging off the side of it, and that is just a, like a little votive holder type thing. 10 bucks is a really good deal, um, and I'm out of hands officially, so I'll add this to my pile. All right, so let's keep looking. We've got these birds here. It looks like there's a chip for $4, some plates. 
This is a really pretty piece of Roseville. Look at that, 125. The shape on this, the lines, that's really, really cool. We've got a lady here, pottery, she's only $5. This lusterware uh, sh uh, sugar bowl for $4. Has the blue and peach luster on there, that's nice. Very good. We've got, this is a pretty piece with a nice big old rose bowl for six. Got some teacups. We've got this little uh, Toby type uh, large mug, like a, almost like a planter though. The Amber Moon and Star larger canister. We've got a wooden woman, a wooden woman. Some baskets, some figures. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything that I've got to have. This is a fun box too with the blue, four dollars. Okay, down there we saw some of that art. We've got various ceramic pieces here. That creamer is fun with the with the flower on it. It's pretty. Hand painted, nice. Now there's a smaller Maxfield Parish, and I've actually never been able to buy a Maxfield Parish because the prices are generally mo a lot more higher at the antique malls where I see them than the Robert Atkinson Fox lithographic prints. This one, $20, it's smaller, which is a little bit of the value. The frame is not tremendously amazing. Also kind of affects the quality or the value. We've got these women on here. It's just a really pretty, the colors are overall in good shape. A lot of times these are faded. The red looks really good in this one. Red is one of the early colors to go, to fade away, leaving you with your blues and green tones. So this is not bad at all, but I'm not in the market for a parish print or a lot of prints right now. So I think I'll leave that one. All right, I wanted to show you what else I got here because we're about to tally it up, but I picked up the Linux butterfly. I think that's really lovely. I don't know the price on it, but he's really good with pricing. So um, I got this USA bowl. That one's five, but it has just really cool deco, art deco lines. Little kind of peppering in there and that uh, pottery. Not fun. Lines okay, on that. I did decide to go ahead and get this Phoenix glass, the custard. That is a really pretty piece for 30. And then the Roseville up here. I just love that pink with this sort of mottled type color on there. And you can see here it's uh, 20 for the Roseville Carnelian. And I just love the handles on that as well. Just a really pretty piece. Ooh, there's a little wasp coming around here. Say hello. So yeah, I'm gonna pick that up and we're about to check out. So I got a lot of really good stuff and I'm excited about it. All right, so I'm back at the hotel and I actually decided to get a few more things that I did not show earlier. And what happened was I ended up going back to George's sale after I had left because I thought I would find some other yard sales and things. Well, I didn't. So I decided just to go back to his sale and I found even more things. So let's start off with this carnival glass here. I, I ended up getting this. It is the cobalt blue carnival glass with the good luck uh, pattern on it. And it is so pretty. It has a chip. That's why I paid $8. This is a really, uh, it's a harder to find pattern, more so than some of the other ones. And the blue is really awesome, the cobalt glass. Uh, there's a couple little chips around the edge, but I couldn't pass it up. It's a really nice pattern and the colors there, if you're looking at it, you're not gonna see any problems. So I went ahead and got it. I did also end up getting the milk glass bowl. I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, this was, I think $4, either four or $6 or five. I don't remember anymore but it has the roses on the outside. Just needs to be cleaned and it'll be good to go. I did get the lady head vase and I think that was $6 if my memory's correct. It's missing one of the earrings, so I'll sell it as it is. I just gotta wash it off and this should do well for me. The eyelashes are intact and that's another big thing if you make sure those eyelashes are good. Uh, they're good, the fingers are good. Just one earring that's gone. Uh, so it's a really good one and it's marked on the bottom 1961 in Arco. So very nice lady head planter vase. I ended up getting this one. I did touch on it earlier in the video and it is really unique. So I decided to go ahead and get it for $6. And this is a convex frame. So if you hold it on the side, you can see it bows out. So it's convex and it has the lithographic print in the background. It looks like of the mountains. 
and it's a beautiful lake scene with this jester type character on it. So I thought it was pretty original, so I picked that up. Over here we have a piece of restaurant ware. It says Doctor's Hospital, and George also figured out it's from St. Petersburg. Um, he had seven dollars on here from a, from a previous sale, and I think I ended up getting it for five dollars, if my memory is correct. Doctor's Hospital. It is restaurant ware marked on the back, Mayor China. So I'm gonna see if Barb would like this. She does collect the restaurant ware stuff. And this is an interesting piece because it has the, you know, the words on it and stuff. So, you know, the history of it a little bit more. Uh, these two, very cool. Uh, I bought them because of the frames, but they were $10 for the pair. And they have this line work on there, sort of etched in. So I thought that was really cool. Very uh, deco, like art deco. And it's just very, very fun. And it has the pair of people in there. We've got Alice. I think her name is Alice. Yeah, Alice Faye. And then this one is Robert Taylor. And um, this one has both of the little, like there's a metal piece there and a metal piece there. This one is missing one of the metal pieces. So that could either be addressed or kind of left left out, but it uh, it kind of hangs on for dear life just with the one, but it's their tabletop frames. So I thought those were pretty cool. And lastly is the cluster of cobalt grapes. Overall, in pretty good shape. This leaf has a broken tip, but I didn't pay very much on them. And the grapes like this are really fun. If you just arrange that differently, well, let's just put it this way. See, it's better. A couple more things I forgot. So this one here. Now, I think George told me he thinks that this is for hat pins and then it holds a hat. So maybe hat pins in the tiny holes and then put a hat over it. So that's his thoughts on it, but I paid $5 and it's cool because it looks like a mushroom. So <laughs> I picked that one up and then look at this lady head vase right here. Very, very Art Deco looking 1940s era, chunky pottery and it's a vase for $6. The reason it was so low is because there are a few like little chips. Well, like that's a little bit of something right there. And then I think on the back, somewhere there's another like little issue, but it's nothing to be concerned about. It's in really good shape considering, and it just has such a great Art Deco look to it with that swoop on her head, big old swoop. But yeah, I think I did pretty well the second time around at George's. All right, so I think we did really well here at this estate sale that George put out. And um, I found some really fun things, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.